Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 614. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 608 to 612. Hey, in this trick, we're continuing all the way from video uh, 610 to 614, doing year-over-year -year sales. Now, we have had a couple of really cool tricks here. Now, this one um, involves the same thing as we've seen in the last few videos. The dates are text. But in the last two videos, all we needed was the year. So we extracted the 09 and down here the 10, and then we added a 20, so we got 2009 and 10. Then we either did a pivot table or formulas. But this, we need to extract the year, the month and the year and get a real date here, and then use this field in a pivot table to break apart months and years. We're going to use the replace function to insert something into this text string. Now this is text, right? But look here. If we could come to the 0 right here somehow and insert, slide the 0 and 9 over and insert a 1 comma, so in essence it would be like this, 1 comma space 2 0, right? Um, control Z, Control Z. I'll lead apostrophe just to show you this. So it would be one comma space two zero, right? That that's what we're going to try and do right there. And guess what? The replace function is awesome for inserting stuff into other stuff or text into other text. I'm going to Control Z, Control Z. Again, when we use replace, the key is we have to say, hey, go to this 0 and, and put something in. In the process, it'll slide the 09 over. Equals replace. Replace needs the old text. There it is, comma. The starting number, well, we have to count. And if we didn't have um, an exact pattern here, we'd have to do something more tricky. But we do have an exact pattern. There's always three letters, a comma, and a space, and then the 0. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for the space, 6 for the 0. <clears throat> and the way the insert trick works for replace is you always got to put the exact number of characters up to the number up to the character you want to slide over. Comma and then you for number of characters, 0 is what tells replace, hey, insert. Comma and then the new text in a quote 1 comma space 20 and double quote close parentheses. Control enter and double click and send it down. Now, look at this. Uh, pivot table wouldn't like this because this is text. So what do we have to do? We have to convert text to a number, F2. There's a couple ways to do it. Let's just look. Notice I have all the cells highlighted. So I put in F2 in the active cell. I'm just going to add 0. Will that do it? Control enter. Yeah, it will. Here's another way. Could we times 1? Control enter. Yeah. Any operation on text that can be interpreted as a number will convert back to a number. Or F2, get rid of that right there. Or you could do a double negative, however you like. I usually like to add 0, but I'm going to keep that double negative here. Sure enough, now those are um, serial numbers. If we click on this cell, even though there's a formula there, watch this. I'm going to use Control Shift tilde, tilde is to the left of the number 1. That control shift tilde um, applies general number formatting. So we wiped away the date formatting. And sure enough, from that text string, by doing an operation, plus 0 times 1, double negative, Excel knew to convert it to the correct serial number, which is what dates really are. I'm going to Control Z. Now I make my pivot table, Alt. NVT, Alt NVT, and I want it on a new sheet, so I hit Enter because that. So in high speed, it's Alt NVT, Enter. There's the full date. I drag it to the rows. I'm going to right click because the goal here is to group, and I want to extract months and years. Click OK. So now we have it, and then we drag our um, sales, and we have to drag them twice in the column here. Um, and we want years up here. So watch this. I'm going to go zoop like this. Drag it up here. So now what we have 
is we have, and let's get rid of these totals. I'm going to come over here to uh, Design, and then go to Grand Totals and say Off. Oh, and my video screen is off here. How do you like that? Op uh, design, grand totals, I'm going to say off. And while I'm here, I'm going to say I don't like to see these column headers and row headers. I'm going to go report layout, show in tabular. Minimize, so I'm going to minimize that. Now, we have exactly what we want. Uh, sales, sales, so I'm going to um, right click, sh value field settings. I'm going to change this to sales, the name sales and a space because there's already a field name called sales. Come down to number formatting. I'm going to say currency. I'm going to say uh, zero decimals. Boop. Right now I'm going to come here, right click field settings. I'm going to say percent change. If I spelled it right. Uh, number format. I'm going to say percentage zero. I'm going to come over here to show values as because our goal is to show the change from year to year. Percentage of, let's try percentage difference from. And then we want uh, percentage in the past couple of videos we did, um, we used this one here, right? Percentage of, that'll show us 100%. Let's do percentage difference from. Uh, we want the full date. No, no, we want years, because we're going from year to year. And we want the base year to be 2009. Click OK. So now we clearly see a bunch of uh, zeros there, because there is no change. But here, we get to see, oh, we had a big drop here. All right, um, I'm going to name this, double click, and call it Pivot Table Percentage Change Month, or something like that. All right, uh, so we the trick here was we had um, a month and a year as dates. We used the replace to insert some stuff, used double negative to get these to serial numbers, and then made our pivot table show percentage change year over year. All right, we'll see you next trick.